next example. Um, okay, for this next example, this one's for you DJs. You, uh, well, not even just DJs. This actually can be used uh, for normal engineers that um, or producers that uh, have uh, an artist come in with a beat they already did. And usually when I have artists come in and do beats and they want to rap over it or sing over it or solo over it, whatever, um, if they only come in with a stereo file, it's a little hard. So this kind of side chaining can actually help out a lot. All right. Now, this um, type of side chaining is not going to make a stuttering. It's going to it's more of what we call a, a ducking kind of effect. Um, ducking is when you have some audio signal playing over something and the one that you want to put the ducking effect on is going to reduce greatly in volume so that you can hear the one you want to hear the best. Okay. All right. Um, now with this one, uh, I have a couple examples. We're going to be taking, you know, one of my taglines, uh, this here. This is a dream slide production and blah 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 all right now you know it's not it's not very in the mix it's not real loud all right now for this one uh, this is a little more simple you uh, just make a bus for the um, the vocal signal to get sent to where you want to send this one now instead of a gate like we used before we're actually going to use a compressor all right so we're going to bring up a compressor. These are all standard with Pro Tools. I'm only using Pro Tools effects minus some other things you may see on the screen, but those are just, those don't affect this. So this, this is all Pro Tools stuff. Come stock with Pro Tools. So I'm not using anything you wouldn't already have. All right, same thing. Uh, you want to tell your key input where you want to receive the audio from. Uh, I have it set for vocal effects left, right. You can only do a mono source. So it really doesn't matter. So you set that up in there. You turn your side chaining on. All right. So what you're going to do, um, I have one of my old R&B beats here. And you're going to hear it without the side chain. It is a little loud. So uh, it will help if I um, didn't have it muted. All right. So, you know, we go from there. All right. So if you remember from before, the little tagline that I had is real low. But let's see what happens. All right, now this is exaggerated ducking. By using the compressor, you turn down the music so that people can hear what you want them to hear. This can work with vocals over beats, uh, guitars over drums, and so many things. And then once you're done, it just goes back to its normal volume. You know, it only works when the other track is set for that to happen, all right? These are my parameters I use for this. Like I said, if you need more on compressors, please don't hesitate to shoot me a line. I will definitely try to get you up a video up, I'll try to get you a video up as soon as possible. Alright? So enough of that one. And I mean this works for any genre. I also have like a rock example as well. Um, Zach, same thing. Key inputs the same, compressors the same, it's all the same. Now this is really exaggerated, so you guys can get the idea of what I'm trying to say. But uh, you know, do it to your liking, tweak everything as needed, you know? Alright, so now moving on to my next example. Now this one is more for the engineers and producers that work with live bands. And it's pretty much just an, an ex not as much as an exaggeration, exaggeration of the one we just did. Uh, it's a little more subtle. Um, now this is usually where side chaining derived from other than ducking on radio stations and DJs. But this is one of the main reasons people use side chaining. What I have here, and I didn't use a click, so <laughs> it is a very sloppy bass line. All right. So it's just, uh, and yeah, it would help if I'm at the right track. Sorry about that. All right. Just a real sloppy bass line, you know, nothing special, just, uh, something real simple I just threw together real quick all right and on top of that we have bass drum and a kit now usually all my kit is separated by tracks but um you know uh, at the same time I didn't do all that all right now for this 
um, you can use this in reverse. What I want is when the kick drum hits, I want the bass to turn down a bit so it makes the kick drum brighter. Great example of side chaining right here. All right, so on my track that I have called Kick, I have my bus. You know, I had it muted for you so you can see there. Um, same as all the other ones before. Uh, you just make the bus go to where you want the effect to happen at. I use the compressor for this, same as before. Um, and it has the same side chain as, you know, what I'm trying to have happen here. All right, drum example. That's my key input. Side chain is on. Now, this one's a little more subtle. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it, but if you notice, when the kick drum hits, the bass turns down a bit. All right? So. Now, this, you're going to have to um, mess with your parameters a little bit more so you don't have any pumping or any kind of other compression artifacts that you don't want. You know, if you're going for pumping, you know, then mess with your attack and release as necessary. Um, but just a quick tutorial on what side chaining is, and hopefully you get more people to use Pro Tools out there because I don't see a lot of people with it. Um, now, this was a little more advanced tutorial. Uh, I'd be more than happy to go over the basics like uh, IOs, recording a track, basic setup, all kinds of things like that. Um, but, um, you know, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks again for listening. Just wait.